No, he's alive! I thought he was dead! I mean, he's got one health. There's no way we're dead here, right? Huh, this should be interesting. So before the nerfs hit to Crimson Sigil Runner and Priestess of Fury, I wanted to run a few more experiments with Priestess of Fury, using a card that pretty much never sees play, Soul Split. So this deck, Cycle Soul Split, uses an OTK Demon Hunter shell, but swaps out several cards to fit in Priestess of Fury, Raging Fell Screamer, and Soul Split. So the Raging Fell Screamers make Priestess of Fury only cost 5, and then we can use a Soul Split on her for 9 mana in order to get an extra Priestess of Fury. And then sometimes Skull of Gul'dan will also discount one of the cards, allowing us to generate even more possible Priestesses of Fury in one turn. So the highlight today features games where we were able to summon multiple Priestesses of Fury onto the board at once. So check out this video and let me know what you think. Shaman. Shaman. Shaman? <laughs> okay, Immolation Aura actually could be good against a lot of them. Uh, Highlander Shaman? Highlander Galakron Shaman? Galakron Shaman? Totem Shaman? Soul Split clogs up our hand a lot of times. Uh, though we don't have any... Yeah, no, no, we want we want to keep it clear of Soul Split until later. That helps. Against quite a few things. Okay, so it's a battle cry, probably Galakrond. Could have coined Spectral Sight. Would have been terrible, because we would have gotten the um, outcast effect. But... Huh. Actually difficult to deal with that, unless we Immolation Aura. We don't have Silence. I can't burn an Immolation Aura on that though. Okay, that might be enough to get an Immolation Aura out of me, though. Alright. Let's leave him with a useless 0-2 on board. And hope that he's not a weird totem hybrid quest deck. If he is, props <laughs> for playing a very interesting deck, but um, I find that highly unlikely. <laughs> okay. Alright, doesn't necessarily play it in his deck. Altruist coin, I-beam, doesn't clear everything. I-Beam, Immolation Aura does clear everything. I definitely like I-Beam. Yeah. Can't play Lady Vosh yet. All right. Next turn, if they don't put too much pressure out there, we can Raging Fell Screamer. Maybe mana burn. Love six mana. He's. What's he going for his burst? Uh, so Kronks draws him Galakrond. Though we haven't seen any invoke cards yet, so we're not sure it's a that kind of hybrid yet. Oof. Okay, maybe coin fell screamer. Orglaive's hero power... I don't think we need to, though. Let's get some board presence. And prep for our Priestess of Fury. We're not too far from being able to uh, 
pull that off. Okay, how far? Three of six. Okay. Something big is going to come down that we're going to need to deal with. We can mana burn Spectral Sight for a fair bit of card draw. Slow him down. Okay, so it is Galagrond. So now we know. Uh, Altruist, mana burn, spectral sight. No, we don't have quite enough mana for that. So it's still a little too early to play Altruist. We have enough space as long as we can play one of them. And we can. Let's get the minion out there. He's not going to Galakron for one. He wants to uh, get at least four fours or eight eights. So we can use Mana Burn when we think he's about to uh, play Galakron. So at least wait for him to do a one more invoke before we start pulling the trigger on that. By the way, how are we going to deal with those giant rush minions? <laughs> I might... Is Altruist our only way to deal with it? Uh, oh. We are two mana off. Altruist will do two damage to everything, meaning those survive. Honestly, Priestess. And then... She probably clears these three, but leaves up quite a bit, so she dies, in most cases. Don't have another Immolation Aura, because Blood Mage Thalnos Immolation Aura would clear. Altruist doesn't clear. He just does two. Memes are hard. This is, I mean, Bloodlust kills us, I think, in a lot of cases. Ah, fine. I mean, he can just bump one of these in, and he, like, yeah, he's fine. We're one man away from being able to pull our combo, and actually we'll hold back on Raging Fell Screamer number two so that we can use Priestess of Fury number two uh, for nine mana again. Unless one of the Priestesses survives, and then we make an extra copy of it. Mutate. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Grrr. The outcast effects and everything aren't lining up just right. And we're one mana off from being able to do the soul split. Dang. I mean, I could just drop Priestess number one, and that would clear these three almost certainly. Go ahead and hit that. Guarantee it goes. Alright. So sometimes Priestess actually survives and we get to Soul Splitter, even if she's like a 6 5. Because right now he's only got 7 mana. 5 mana. That kills it. He runs everything in. She's dead. Ah, uh, okay. But we can Raging Fell Screamer, and as long as, we, yeah, we have Soul Split in hand. So, what next turn we'll be able to uh, pull the combo. So Raging Fell Screamer. Let's go ahead and... I mean, we could Priestess of Fury now, but... 
Start getting value out of these Adrasti Warblades. Stick a minion to the board. Right now, if he Galakrons, then he can clear these, no problem. But he only gets four fours. He needs one more invoke in order to get the super value. And if he does, they absorb so much damage that our Priestess of Fury combo doesn't do nearly enough. Priestess of combo Fury or Priestess of Fury combo right now does twelve damage, and then we have one mana left over for hero power. We can do three, seven. Uh, if everything's stuck on the board. So 7 plus 9, 12 plus 9 is 21. Before he healed just now, that would have been sufficient. Okay. So if one of these sticks, then we can create another Priestess. Um, surely, out of 12, Two goes into that, so there's no point to taking this face damage. All right, so if he's got Battle Cry, Galakrond actually would clear these. Um, if he's got Galakrond in hand, he's got to do it. Unless he also has Freeze first. Oh no, Freeze is two mana, so he can't afford to uh, Freeze and Battle Cry and. Uh, or hero power and Galakrond. So he can clear these if he's got Galakrond. And he's got to do that if he's got it. Um, he may have been wanting to get 8 8s out of it. And we do deal with the rushers if he does pull the trigger on that. Okay. Okay, um, so we're doing this always. We're gonna bump these in now. So this is 18 damage at the end of the turn. It's not guaranteed lethal by any means. <laughs> okay. Three off lethal. If he just Galakrons here. Oh, wait. He goes up to eight. Um, by the way, he hasn't invoked yet. So he still only gets four fours. He can clear the priestesses, though. We have Zephyrus, and he's not active, actually. Uh, so, yeah. He can clear all the Priestesses. He loses everything. We've got... So that's... 5 damage, 6 damage, he's at 8. So we need to pull this. Alas, poor warlock. And now he's dead. Not now he's very dead. Avenging Wrath might have been a little bit more fun, but that was fine too. Okay. Not only did we get the combo off, but we actually got three Priestesses of Fury because they survived long enough for us to make an extra copy. Yes. <laughs> the win rate's terrible, but we pulled the combo off. Okay. Uh, these do take a little bit longer. We'll play one more with this, though, and make coffee while we're uh, doing that. So... Let's shrink in size and do a scene change. Okay. 
consume magic, not in that location. Especially against a uh, demon hunter. Blood Mage Thalnos, not bad, but something a little bit more reactive. And also this will be great to pair with uh, Immolation Aura a little bit later to help clear some stuff. If we had Immolation Aura in hand, I would actually hold on to him. Aldrachi Warblades will allow us to deal with a Satyr, which is one of our first concerns. Mana burn. Uh, we could keep him from being able to play a one drop, <laughs> which wouldn't be bad necessarily. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Hey, I got you, friend. Oh wow. Okay. Immolation aura would take that back down to a reasonable stat. No way we can get to I beam. Immolation aura now, and then Aldrachi Warblades to deal with it on the back end. Because we cleared two, I'm okay with that. Let me make sure. This is active. Aldrachi Warblades clears that. Uh, silence an enemy minion, draw a card. Huh. Honestly, I don't think there are that many great targets. <laughs> Aldrachi Warblades would have been fine, but we got the card draw out of this. And now we want to use Aldrachi Warblades on that. Okay. Obviously we're not going to get to the I-Beam anytime soon uh, from this direction. Yeah. We have to kill this. Could have mana burned, but I want to mana burn uh, if he plays Fell Screamer this next turn, um, or if he doesn't play Fell Screamer, I want to play mana burn uh, when he's moving into his seven mana turn. Basically, after he play or when he could potentially play Priestess of Fury, we want to stop him. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Uh, Altruist would clear this, but I don't think it's time to pull the trigger on that. Um, but I will hold on to the twin slices because of that. I'm actually going to hold back. We get super punished if he has an ooze, but hopefully he doesn't. So we can pair... Man, next turn we can pull off a crazy... semi-crazy. Um, Altruis. But I don't really want to use Mana Burn until he plays Fell Screamer. Okay. Novice Engineer. So we can play this, Hero Power, this. We could actually even heal a little bit more with Chaos Strike and draw. Let's draw first let's draw first <laughs> okay and we have another Eldrachi Warblades so now the question is do we go face or do we take out these maybe smarter to take those out but we do have to put him down to where our combo with Priestesses of Fury would actually deal with him. So, there is that to consider. Okay. Altruist can get three triggers at five mana. And now he is... I mean, he's got Skull of Gul'dan. He could have played Priestess if he had drawn it there. No, 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 he couldn't have. Uh, so he can still play Priestess if he got it off of Skull of Gul'dan. 
but if he's been holding on to it since turn one or three, um, then that's not going to be so great for him. He's got regular Umber Wing. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pull the trigger on this. There's Priestess. Okay, he can just hero power the 4-2 down. Goes down to 12. Or if he's got second I beam. Um, he unless he got the Gul'dan, Skull of Gul'dan discounted Priestess, he can't play it here. We don't have Soul Split yet. And honestly, we're one mana off from being able to uh, Soul Split it anyways. Do you see what must be done? Okay. Uh, Aldrachi Warblades allows us to deal with that very effectively. Sometimes if he's got a really, I don't know, a board that we actually care about, um, we can drop Priestess of Fury in a desperate situation, but that stops us from doing our combo, so preferably not. This is six mana with hero power to heal, f or only take one damage from killing Altruis. How many things deal with Altris? We've silenced multiple times. Immolation Aura deals with them. I Beam deals with them. Mm, this is a stupid risk, but I'm gonna do it. Alas, poor warlock. How is this even possible? Okay, uh, so we can use this Priestess. We didn't get Soul Split. Altris is dead. We've got a Priestess of Fury out there. <laughs> we need Fell Screamer number two and Soul Split. Oh wait, we do have Soul Split. Oh, we just didn't have enough mana to play it. Uh, he may not be able to kill Priestess. He's got four damage. Surely we're not dead, because he doesn't have Altris. I think he's just putting out as many stats as he can. Yep. My blade will sing. How is this even You possess <laughs> no, he's alive! I thought he was dead! I mean, he's got one health. There's no way we're dead here, right? There's no way. Okay. <laughs> um. So even if... Kane had survived. We were okay. Wow. Glad we played that one more. Um, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Okay. So, twice with Cycle Soul Split, we actually pulled off a triple Priestess of Fury. That's great. Oh, that was great. Okay, love it, love it, love it. And that ended up being a 50% win rate, right? Yeah. Uh, not recommended if you're trying to win, but um, if you're looking for shenanigans with Triple Priestess of Fury, then uh, yeah, definitely try it out. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And if you want to see experiments happening live with the possibility of your comments showing up in a future video, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist.
You're awesome. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day.